Yeah. But yeah. I have yeah. a yeah. way yeah. yeah. to yeah. 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 That's why like a 60 year old man. America is like the most closed minded and open minded country. America will shut down an idea to the extent of like no one fucks with it. Like we hate that pink hair, transsexual, homosexual. Everything was been frowned upon. And the second like the right people accept it, it goes to like this turning point, everyone fucks with it. And then if you don't fuck with it, you're like the weirdo. Cause even with us, we're Afro beasts, it's like we're trying to push this culture and like I deal with all these different challenges of like, yeah, we don't really know the sound, we don't really know the, the edge that he's going for. And so what I like to look at it is like Afro beasts, it's our genre. And then there's like sub genres like Afro pop, you have Afro jazz, you have Afro infusion, like you got sounds from Ghana, from Nigeria, East Africa, from South Africa. We all have our distinctive sound that comes from our region. So Afro Beats has like a dance hall kind of pop, feel good, African kind of ambiance to it. It's dope to see how it's happening because everybody's slowly coming over and doing some concerts, some gigs, they're going back to the continent. No, I'm like the plug out here. These Afrobeats guys, they know. They come through, they gotta go through me because I, I know the shit out here. I, you know, the, med, the press, the media, the relationships, I've been out here creating my vibe for years now. And like, a lot of these dudes, when they touch down, they check in. It's not to say that like, your Paris is the big homie, but I'm kind of the big homie.